Yeah, Black Friday was not as big of a success as it should have been, right? Let's talk about that. I wanted to make this video just to reflect on what happened on Udemy during Black Friday sales and why a lot of instructors are actually very disappointed with it. And yeah, if you think that you are the only one for whom the Black Friday sale was not a huge success, no, you are not the only one. Because as far as I've seen, the Black Friday was not a huge success for anyone on Udemy. We have almost 70 instructors in our Udemy Heroes Facebook group and practically all of them are universally disappointed in this year's Black Friday sale. By the way, if you want to join our growing community of the Udemy instructors, you can join our Facebook group for that. The link will be in the description down below. And I would also like to announce that we're creating similar group for YouTube creators as well, and it will be linked in the description down below as well. So if you want to communicate with a fellow YouTube creators, you can do this through this Facebook group. So what happened on Black Friday? Why even the biggest instructors didn't make their best month ever, which usually November is for everyone? Actually, there is explanation for that. The same thing happened that is happening everywhere at least at the moment, pandemic. It disrupted the natural flow of everything in our lives and it affected Udemy as well. How? You see, Udemy is living in kind of like a yearly cycle. Every year, Udemy is putting a lot of marketing expenses in a few sales that is happening one after another. First is Black Friday sale, which is happening near the end of November. Next is Cyber Monday, which is happening after Black Friday sales and goes on during the first week of December. Then is Christmas sale, which is usually starts near the mid of December and ends by the end of December. And last but not least is the New Year sale, which starts in the beginning of January and usually ends near the mid of it. So basically, huge chunk of Udemy's marketing budget is going away just in a month and a half, starting from the middle of November and ending in the beginning of January. Did it change this year? No. But what changed was the behavior of the customers. You see, what those sales do is to attract a lot of new customers with very low prices. And after those customers get an amazing value for the really low price, they usually stay on a platform for the future course purchases. But this year was different. You see, the majority of the new customers were already here because a lot of them came in when there was an entire world in a lockdown. And those people came on a platform in the spring and summer of 2020, the time when usually not a lot of people are actually joining in. There were so many new people during that time that Udemy sales increased by 400%. And new customers even managed to take down a few of the Udemy's functions, like an automated messaging. And this increased overall Udemy's and instructor sales by a lot, including my own. And what it also did is that it attracted a lot of new instructors as well, which increased the number of courses on platform, thus increasing competition. So what happened this November? We have increased the number of courses and decreased the number of new customers, which decreased overall sales for everyone. This is what happened on Udemy this November and this is the reason why you didn't get as much sales as everyone was promising you. To be fair, I kinda like expected that, but I didn't expect that to be this severe. So, what happens next? At the moment of the recording of this video, we still have Christmas and New Year sales ahead of us. And this is what I think will happen. And this is just a thought that I would gladly discuss with you in the comments down below. I think the Christmas sale will be better than the last year's by not by a lot. However, I still expect a huge spike of sales in January because most likely the pandemic will start decreasing and go away in the year 2021. And this will push people to do more new year, new me stuff, which is huge driver of sales, not just on Udemy, but on all educational platforms as well. Example of which is Skillshare, which sees the huge spike of new customers coming in in January. But what about the huge number of instructors? I think a lot of them will be disappointed by an overall low sales and will jump off the platform very quickly. No, this doesn't mean that you'll have less competition, but what it means that your new courses will have higher chances to succeed because a lot less people will be creating new courses from January onwards. So don't surrender, don't stop now and continue creating new courses. And remember, you are doing this not for money, but to teach people new skills and help them in their problems. And money comes with this. Well, this should be it for today. Let me know what you think about Udemy's Black Friday sales this year. Well, thank you for being here with me. I liked your video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one and I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya!